This year is the 400th anniversary of Shakespeare's death in 1616. When you think of places associated with Shakespeare in London, the first place you'll think of is probably a building that opened for the first time in 1997, the reconstruction of the Globe Theatre on Bankside in Southwark. There's not a lot left of 16th and 17th century London, largely because of the Great Fire of 1666, but here and there some stone buildings remain, and some which were rebuilt after the fire still give a glimpse of Elizabethan London. Shakespeare's brother is buried in Southwark Cathedral, and you can see the remains of the Bishop of Winchester's lodgings where Shakespeare is recorded as living in 1600. In the 16th century, as you can see in the map, London pretty much finished at Bishopsgate and Allgate in the east. Shakespeare lived on Bishopsgate, near the theatre in Shoreditch, until a dispute with the landlord led to it being demolished in 1596 and its timbers being used to construct the globe. Archaeologists from the Museum of London have been uncovering the history of this forgotten part of Elizabethan London, where recent excavations have unearthed the foundations of another theatre on Curtain Road, the Curtain Theatre. Well, what you're looking at is the very early stages of the excavation of one of London's earliest playhouses. This is the site of the Curtain Theatre. It's where, uh, I guess, most famously associated with Shakespeare, where he performed in the late 1590s. It existed as a building much earlier. It was definitely operating as a public playhouse in the 1570s. But it's one of the early playhouses we know very little about. It's not really documented, so that's why the archaeology is really important. But Shoreditch was a really interesting place in the 1590s. Um, it's just outside the city of London, so you've got a crowded, crowded city, and in comparison, this was quite rural. You've got most of the buildings fronting onto Shoreditch High Street. You've got the parish church of St. Leonard's and the dissolved monastic precinct of Holywell, just a few hundred metres up the road. And it's surrounded by open fields. And it's kind of the place where people went for a bit of R&R. &R. It was the place people could visit an inn or a gaming house or a brothel. And obviously in the 1570s, it was also the place to go and see a play. Shakespeare's, um, I guess, most associated with the Chamberlain's Men, and the Chamberlain's Men's sort of headquarters, if you like, was the theatre just up the road. But that closed in 1597, and they actually moved here, so the company moved here at that point, and they were performing here for a couple of years before the Globe was built in 1599. Well, we've done some previous archaeological evaluation on the site, so we know some of the internal walls survive, which would have provided the support for the timber superstructure for the building. We also know parts of the gravel yard surface survive, where the audience would have been standing to watch performances of, say, Romeo and Juliet or Henry V. But the one thing we haven't really had a chance to look at <coughs> so far is the backstage area. So that's really exciting. That's sort of the unknown. Well, in terms of things, um, we are hoping to find evidence of who was using the building in terms of both audience and actors. So audience may have been eating and drinking or watching performances, so we might have evidence of the food they're eating, sort of, uh, fruit seeds and nutshells, that kind of thing, as well as broken beer mugs. And for actors, we might get evidence of costume ornaments, uh, beads and bells and that kind of thing. Uh, maybe props, and if we're very lucky, evidence of special effects. Well, I think for a long time, people have associated, and rightly so, associated Shakespeare with the Globe and Bankside. That's why this site's really important, is to actually put Shakespeare's Shoreditch back on the map, so people can understand this was London's first theatre land. Wikimedia UK is hosting an editathon at Senate House Library on May the 7th to celebrate 400 years since the death of the Bard in 1616. The theme of the event is Shakespeare in London. If you want to come and find out how to add your knowledge to the online encyclopedia written by you, why not join us?